Good afternoon, everybody. I look like a mess, but I feel fabulous. We have just gotten to. <laughs> Tell me where we are. <laughs> Agnes Water. Agnes Waters, but what's this place called? Agnes Water is a suburb, town. For this tranquility? Tranquility? No, I was like, that's wrong. Rerun. Okay, we have just gotten to Horizon Kangaroo Sanctuary in Agnes Waters. It is stunning, and I haven't even seen any kangaroos yet. And it's still just. We're just finished setting up our little campground. Got our gazebo table swag already. The car with the with the the solar but this is the campground is nothing like this is nothing to this guys like this is what we get to wake up to for the next two mornings that view is just one of the view spots in this place we haven't really walked we haven't walked around or anything yet and I can't wait to see the whole grounds because it is I've only been here for five minutes and I'm already fangirling, but there's just like trees galore, flowers galore, views galore, animals galore. I mean, what else could you want, really? So I think I'm gonna take Anika because the koala can meet some of the animals if we meet any on the way. But just, for this little walk around of what we've already seen because Jake has gone walk about somewhere so yes this is our campground all pretty lonesome down on this part um, the Gary the guy that owns runs this whole place says that they're not as busy as they usually are this weekend so there may be people that are joining us down here but we don't know um, and this just here is the kitchen and like toilet shower area which we've already seen so Anika oh, look little. that's really cool uh, indigenous painted surfboard got our bins so we've got our all open kitchen which is really cool got some power which would be good if I ever want to do some work or charge our phones. And then we've got a toilet, shower, and then the same on that side. And this is like a nice little eatery area like this. This is really cool. So yeah, that's what um, we've seen so far. So once Jake and I reunite and we wanna go for our walk and once we, I guess, like just relax for a little bit since we just got here, I'll take you on the walk and we'll show you the whole grounds cause I can't wait. Bye guys. Good evening guys. It's now, what day is it? Saturday? Sunday. Sorry. Sunday evening. Um, we are cooking some dinner. We got some beautiful lamb chops here, grilling away. Um, and we're making a bit of a salad. And we got some veggies in the microwave some corn and beans oh my god I'm so happy salad and veggies it's like the best thing ever after having noodles and rice and shakes for the last couple of days um, hopefully we'll end up having a couple little bit of leftovers at least that'll be good um, but yeah we went to what well, we kind of had a little drink this afternoon settled down we went to the local tavern the What's it called? Agnes Water Tavern. What? Agnes Water Agnes, Tavern. Agnes was water. <laughs> Whatever. Tavern. Um, and we watched almost a whole football game. Had two beers each. That was really nice. Met a local. Or actually, no, they weren't local. Met a couple that were up here for a week from Brisbane. And they've been up here a couple of times just in, just in the past year because they love it. So that's a good sign for the next our next few days. But yeah, I'm excited for dinner. We're just gonna hopefully have an early night so we can have a 
early in the morning we'll tomorrow. tomorrow. We're going to whole Agnes Beach area to explore, which a couple of walks that look really nice. And then we want to go all the way up to 1772. So yeah. And then we want to be back to see this sunrise. Sunset. Sunset at a campsite. And then maybe a fire tomorrow. If we can sort that out. Yeah, so that's what today is like. And I think some seafood for lunch because there's lots of good fresh seafood around, so we might splurge out. But yeah, that's tonight, um, and then we'll take you along tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be the main day that we get to explore and be tourists. So yeah, we'll see you then in the morning. Hopefully, when we wake up tomorrow, we'll have a gorgeous view off that side of that um, cliff. See some wildlife. We can do. We have a nice walk around in the morning, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I'm excited to explore around here. That'll be nice. Yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Going in and out of sleep in there. Good morning. It is now Friday. No, that's wrong. Monday. Monday. And waking up here at Horizons Kangaroo Century. It's been lovely. Stuffed with the swag wide open last night, so. That was interesting, I'll tell you about that later, but it's been a nice morning so far. Gonna finish my workout. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. You finally awake? Why are you so recording? Thank you very much. <laughs> I woke up what's last night. Lots, yeah, me too. Lots of creepy animals around us. I don't think so. We were just a bit paranoid for the first night here, I guess. It wasn't the animals that kept me awake. It was the moon. It was like it was like a spotlight directly on me the whole night. It just kept moving down moon, and yeah, down and down and down. And it was a full moon, so or almost a full moon. Lots of birds this morning. Oh, yeah, the kookaburras. <laughs> right when I tried to start filming them to get them, they stopped. Uh -huh. It was like literally <laughs> right, right on... No, I hear them. Yeah. Um, right on 6am they just like stopped, right before the sun actually rose. But yeah, so we went, tried to get, we went to bed really early last night, about 9, and then about 20 past 10 I woke up because there was... Was it only 20 past 10? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, 20 to 11, sorry. Okay. Um, because there were kangaroos right in our campground, I was like, oh god, what do we do? Like, do we need to put stuff away? But really, they were fine, they didn't even. Oh, fine, curious. Yeah. People. Just trying to find food by the looks of it. I think I would have woken up a lot earlier than quarter to six if we were on this side. So, yeah, this is the kangaroo sanctuary. We're finally getting to explore a little bit. Which we found, we found pretty interesting that when we got here the guy was telling us that they're not actually um, like a registered campground, they're a registered kangaroo sanctuary but they don't have an AVM or anything so um, that's why everything's in cash 
um, which is pretty interesting. I guess it makes it a little bit more secret for us, like not as many people here as it might there might have been for an advertised kangaroo sanctuary. But um, it's a bit sad because they were saying that pre-COVID they were able to save what was it, three hundred? Or 3,000? 1,000? I don't know. It was a lot. I can't remember. Exactly the amount of um, orphan joeys off the side of like the road and things like that. Um, but since COVID, they haven't really been able to because... I don't really understand why he went on some rant about COVID after that. But, but yeah, for 25 bucks a night, I'm not complaining about the view, the animals... We even get, you know, toilet, kitchen. The kitchen is stocked with everything that you might need if you don't bring... Even if you didn't bring anything, it would have everything. Except for the food. There's a Joey. Oh, look at her. See, so, yeah, what are we doing today, my love? Exploring the... Of Agnes Water 1770. I think it's going to include a few nice walks and a few nice beaches. And maybe some seafood for lunch. And yeah, that should be our day. Can't see why not. Yeah, sounds great. Be back here for sunset and cook some dinner again. And another chill night. Sounds good to me. Bye. Bye. So we're in Agnes Waters driving to Red Rock. Driving down this dirt, holy, rocky road. Which has been so fun. I don't envy Jake right now. Probably gonna turn around, but nothing be too bad yet. So I'm like, oh, we were all right. It'll be fun. Yeah, I think I made it. But... <gasps> that didn't sound good. We made it. <laughs> we did we? Did we just lose something? But it's a rally car. We well, probably should have stopped. But... So we're at the Red Rock walking trail. At this end, if we wander all the way to Red Rock, it'd take about two and a half hours, so we probably won't. We'll just walk until we want to turn back. It's a bit annoying because on the Google Maps it says like you can pretty much drive here and then get off here, but there's all private houses and stuff there. So no luck. So we're here and we'll see where we want to go. So hopefully it's pretty. I don't love when walks aren't loops. It's just f annoying. Kind of makes it as if the destination's the only thing you're walking for. Springs Beach. Warning. Stingers, strong currents, rough surf, submerged rocks, shallow water. Okay, we're trying again. The other road walk was about two and a half hours one way. We're not equipped and we don't really want to do that, I don't think, especially Jade. Um, <laughs> so we're going to come do this paper bank walk, which I heard is very lovely, and I think it's a loop and it's good for kids, I've heard. So that sounds like our sort of walk, maybe. <laughs> and yeah, maybe it just won't take that long and we can still go to other places, other beaches and stuff for the day. Why does it smell like musk? Like those mustics? Mm. 
There's there's all this. Do you smell that? Is that this tree? Paper tree? Oh, look how pretty they are. Look how many they're going to mm. Do pull the paper bark tree walk. Hmm. For once the um the name is actually I don't know about Jake, you ain't got the balance for this. Oh, now that I've said that, I'll be the one to fall down. Whatever, I'm only on Survivor, this is good practice. <laughs> oh no, I'm scared, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> the big kid. Paper bark tea tree. Ma Melaleuca quinquina riva. <laughs> the dominant tree of Red Creek Swamp is a paper bark tea tree. It is currently found in the swamps and coastal floodplains off the east coast of the Shire. Red Creek preserves 120 hectares of paper bark forest. When in the flower, the profusion of bottle brushed flowers provide nectar for lorikeets, firebirds, and many eater, honey eater species. This one's a bit shallow. Maiden hair leaf. Interesting. You like this, Cindy? Yeah. I do prefer these sort of walks, a bit more fun, eh? Than what? Than climbing. <laughs> Alright, so we're driving right into Chinaman's Beach. Look at this. Stunning. Let's get out and look. Welcome to Chinaman's Beach. Hi puppy. Beautiful. Great day too. Breeze isn't too cold. Sun isn't too hot at the moment. It's lovely. I mean that sun's gonna get pretty mean in a couple of hours though. <laughs> Is it a wedding altar or a witch's altar? Dun, dun, dun. I think it's a wedding altar, witch's altar is usually in circles or pentagons. Well, there is a remnant of a fire pit though. <laughs> or it could be indigenous. Oh, I'd do like a more rock to be like a little blowhole. hole. Baby. All right, 
our next walk, the Discovery Trail. The Discovery Trail. Jake didn't believe me when I said they saw the entrance. So I'm making a big thing. I think you can vlog this one. So I think we are in the Discovery Track walkway. Trail. Oh, trail. And hopefully it's a nice one kilometer loop and it also goes to another beach and a boardwalk. So sounds like it should be fun. And I'm pretty sure this is like the last spot on Agnes Drive and then we start the Captain Cook Drive which goes all the way up to the 770 which is like another It's like another head off the mainland onto the beach which is supposed to be beautiful. Yeah. Were they? I don't think so. Not the one that we talked to at the paper, but no, definitely not. Seriously, she's so bad on names, faces, I don't get it, it's so annoying. What have I got you for? What do I have her for then? It doesn't dry. Maybe that. Maybe I'm the only one that will put up with you. A boardwalk? See you at the lookout. <laughs> Here we are. Get this side dark if you end up. And now I think we are at the lookout of this walk. Which I think walks out Agnes Main Beach, maybe. I could be wrong. fishing down there, like we're on the rocks. It looked awesome. Well anyway, until we see something else pretty. We have found another beach. This one's called Worksman Beach. So let's go have a look at this beach. I'm sure we would have just seen it from the lookout, but we don't know where it would have been. So let's go have a look. for a walk over there. Okay, let's go. Shoes would be off, but I want to walk over here across all these rocks, so better keep my shoes on. I feel like there's too many rocks in the way for all that. There's lots of rocks at these sort of beaches. Okay, until another time. Bye. Been a treacherous rock. <laughs> Multiple beaches we have found, but got lost a little. No, we did not get lost. We thought we might have been lost. Not lost, but just off track. Off track a little bit, and we got a little bit nervous, maybe. Oh yeah, but I think we are about 
to finish that discovery track loop. Without going back. We just found the top car park where we were going to park, but I was like, no, we cannot do that. We have to go back the way we came because it's a loop. <laughs> and we found another track. And I do believe this is going to be the way to the exit very, very soon. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe we started vlogging too soon. <laughs> Maybe we did because I don't remember this corner. I think we found it. I see a white Rexy. Rexy on tour. Discover Discovery Trail loop has done. Woo! Woohoo! Next stop. We've just been driving through the town of 1770. Some nice views out my window so far. Fun? We'll go find out. How's JD going? Going up the cliff face pretty much. Really? I'm just focusing on where my feet are. You're missing all the views. Woo! There you go, man. I don't know if you can hear me because of the wind, but I was about to say that I'm very high up right now and I'm very much out of my element, but then I feel like water isn't that kind of what holidays are for in terms of, you know, getting out of your comfort zone and just trying to do different things. So we're out, go back to the car, drive, keep driving around, see what else we can find. I don't think there's much else to send me, send me. Just, yeah, a couple of beaches, caravan parks, it's lovely looking out. Really nice houses, isn't it? We'll go get some lunch soon. Mm. We're back to Agnes because it looks a bit more chill and the beach looks nice there. Or well, at least to the park and get to. And yeah, there was a seafood shop there and Jade wanted me want some fresh seafood maybe, some chips. And there's also a really cute gelato store, so maybe if we can save some money on lunch, we can definitely get gelato. So that would be nice. Driving through 1770, Jake saw this Countess Russell's anchor this way. And Jake heard anchor and he's like, We're stopping. So here we are. Jade's ready to get her swimmers on and have some lunch. Let's go! So we're at another beach, Agnes Water Beach. For lunch, we got some lunch with us. We're gonna chill here, go for a swim. My um, camera died on me, so I'm on my phone. But that's alright. Oh, 
Read my book. Go get some ice cream. Not busy at all. Look at that, how nice. All right, so we found some shade under this lovely tree. And now we can set up, have some lunch, enjoy it before we go for a swim. Look at, check out this seafood that we got. Got some prawns, oysters, bugs, yum. Perfect seafood for two. Let's go for a swim. got a chill to it. We got ourselves some ice cream. No, gelato. No, gelato. gelato, sorry. Is it good? Just chocolate. Good, good, I'm glad. Let's dig in. Not a bad view. Sunset. Not quite sunset yet, but just waiting for those beautiful views. Jake's busy doing stuff this afternoon. I've been editing just so that I would come check out the view while one of my videos exports. Looking forward to a fire tonight and cook a yummy dinner and salad. Yeah, it'll be nice. And then, yeah, we'll leave in the morning to go to auto electrician to get what the, some help with the battery. Hopefully they don't charge me and just be helpful and we'll see. It was charging fine and then the sun's gone off obviously and then it went straight back to 11.9 and no difference as yesterday. So I don't know what let's go. I think I've come to an understanding that if we can't get it working, it was really just a luxury anyway to have the fridge going, which we should still be able to have going when we're driving places. But other than that, we have the Esky. Yep. And we can just get ice every day, every second day, like we have been, and it should be fine. Might get a bit stressful when, we have, when we're trying to have more food and stuff like that, but it'll be right. Sure will. He's going to do that in the morning while I pack. And we get ready to go on to the next place. But yeah, we're going to sit here and enjoy the sunset before we make dinner and get a fire going. Good morning everyone, it is now about 11.30 on the 20, Tuesday 27th of April, I'm back on my camera now, you're all charged up. Um, yeah, so we were supposed to be out of the kangaroo sanctuary a couple of hours ago, um, it is checkout day, but we've taken the 
second battery to an auto electrician and they've had to keep it there for the day. So we're just hanging around here until we can go pick the battery up. So last night we, Jake built a fire after we watched the sunset and we had some dinner um, and I did some editing and I've, it was really lovely. We just chilled, relaxed, the fire was gorgeous, Jake was happy with it. He, he just sat by it all night pretty much listening to his podcast while I was editing. So yeah, that was really nice, nice last night here. And this morning we woke up, packed everything up, a whole camp's all packed up now in the car. And we've just been chilling again in this like kitchen area. Well, I've been in the kitchen area doing some more editing. While Jake's listening to his podcast, walking around, doing his own thing. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd grab my camera out, wrap this video up. Since we won't really be doing much today, um, I don't think we're going to go, like, go back to Agnes Waters or 1770, so this is the end of the video. Oh, yeah. Got my little setup over here, just doing some editing. Uh, already finished two videos since being on this trip, so I'm pretty happy. Although one video is actually half a video because of so long I've had to split it in two but that's all right yeah so this trip's been really nice um, I don't know which one which I thought was more prettier if it was like here Agnes Waters or back at Elliot Heads I think the Elliot Heads beach appealed to me a little bit more but um this trip's still been really nice and we're excited to move on to the next thing which not sure exactly what's going to be yet. We'll see. Jake's over there chatting to the, the owner, so I'm gonna say goodbye, and we'll see you at our next destination. Bye, guys. Look at the size of this little tree froggy, just sitting on the bathroom window, just chilling. It's a baby kangaroo with a joey in his pouch.